today I'm going to show you how to get started with the UCSC Genome Browser. So it's easy to navigate it, navigate to it just by typing it into your internet browser. So UCSC stands for University of California at Santa Cruz. So the first thing to do is to go to the right mirror site. So the main website is based in the US. This is fine, but it can get a bit slow, particularly in the afternoon. Uh, so they recommend we use the European based mirror site which tends to work a bit faster. The next thing that we need to do is to choose what genome we're going to study. So they have genomes from many different organisms but today we're going to study the human genome. And the next thing is we need to choose what assembly we're going to use. So an assembly is when at a particular time the scientists have gathered together all the sequencing data that's available and created the best version of the genome at that time and they save it and give it a number. And then over the next few years, as more sequencing data comes in, they make a new assembly, an improved one, and give it a different number. And when people upload data to this genome browser site, they link that data to a particular genome assembly. And so with different assemblies, you can get different data. So the one that we're going to use today is HG19. So we're going to click on that. OK. So the next thing we need to do is decide, well, which gene are we going to look at? So we're going to look at the haemoglobin uh, beta gene, the beta globin gene, and that's called HBB. So up here in this search box, you can type the name of the gene, or you can type the chromosome number or position, or even a SNP number. Click go. And here you can choose the gene that most fits the one that you want to study. So initially they display your gene so it's filling the whole of this window here. So here we have it at the top, HBB. And the scale is, this is 500 bases here. Um, up here we have the chromosome that it's found on and this red line shows the position of this view, or this gene, within that chromosome. So you can zoom in or out with these buttons here. So I'm going to zoom out threefold so we get a better view of this particular gene so that's now easier to look at and you can zoom out a lot further if you want so now we can see the other genes that are nearby to zoom in you can also select a particular region with your mouse so click near the top of the window click and drag and now we've selected a region we want to zoom in on and this is particularly good for looking at particular areas you can move the window along and you can also just click and drag if you want to reposition the, the window that you're looking at. Other useful things to know. So here, this button, you can use this to create your own free account so you can log in. This means um, that you can save a particular view that you've created. You can email it to yourself or to somebody else. Another useful button is this resize one down here. So if you create a view on one computer and then want to finish it off on your laptop, which has a different size of screen, sometimes it won't display very well. So simply by clicking resize, it redraws this window so it fits the screen that you're working with. 